Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. And we got a very special guest with us again today. Who's with us? It's Erica Arce. Hey! hey. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. How, uh, how have you been doing, Erica? Let's crack I've, it to another one. I've been great. I've been great. How about you? Oh, you know, just doing all the all the crazy town things. Yeah, we had nice. a very, very weird week this week. We had uh, some very strange guests on the show. So oh. I'm glad to have... Uh, Glad to have somebody that seems relatively normal this time. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you for having me. Oh, very welcome. Long time mm-hmm. coming. So mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, so anyways, I want to talk today. I saw something online that it reminded me of, you know, nowadays people are so obsessed with social media. And a lot of times people, when they have free time, they get on Facebook, they get on Instagram, they get on Reddit. Um, and I don't want to age us here, but like some of us may have been around before social media was so popular. <laughs> What did we do on the internet before social media was taking up all of our time? Wow. Um, well, I mean, I don't want to say that I know, but I heard in textbooks. <laughs> I read in a geography book. Yeah, written on stone tablets that were passed down through generations and generations. I hear that people used to do things called chat rooms where they would go in and they would talk to other people using avatars and they would all type on a screen and you could just see everybody's messages to have. Ew, they would type with a keyboard? <laughs> yeah, with a keyboard. The same, we use keyboards today. I know this is crazy. They Actually, the keyboard has been relatively unchanged from generation to generation. It's crazy. So me and oh. Grandpa use the same keyboard? Yeah. Ew. It's crazy. Have you I ever feel been like in- there's a joke there that I don't want to say, so I'll skip yeah, it. I want you to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I want, that makes me want you to say it even more. If Grandpa was using it, it sure wouldn't be functional by the time I got to it. Yeah, yeah. Have you joke. have you ever done chat rooms? Uh, no, not really. No, no. That's probably I was, back in I was, the day. I was no, I was just more on the phone, and you know when when you couldn't get like call waiting, and you know, there was it would just be a busy signal. A busy to call signal. You. Yeah, busy you never signal. hear that anymore. I used to go to a website. It was called chathouse.com when mm-hmm. I was like in school, and it would be like, oh, bro, are you going into the castle? Are you going into the barnyard? And then you would, like you'd see the same mm-hmm. folks there, and you like send like. HTML, like, oh, dude, here's a cool picture of a cow. Ha ha. Like, age, age sex location. That's what ASL, I ASL, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Yeah. How do you, wait, how do people do that now? I, I don't think everyone they already do. has their location. Yeah. Um, uh, social media is so ingrained into like a person's actual life that you get to see at least what they portray as their actual life. You get to see into everything that they are. That's why it's like so easy to find out information to like steal pre- people's identity or even mm-hmm. like trick fish for like uh money and stuff yeah. people putting all their information out there oh yeah i know what your your dad's pet name for you is i've seen this happen on on tiktok yeah. girl was running her tiktok some dude was like i've been stalking this girl for a while so what is what does your dad call you and he calls her by the dad's pet name she was like oh hi dad i'm so glad you're here Oh my god, oh, that's wow. creepy. It is creepy. That's it's very so creepy. creepy. That's like when that guy called my grandma and was like, Jonas is in trouble. We need your credit card number. And then she like, yeah. gave it to him. Did yeah. that really happen? That's no. That's happened to my grandmother, actually. Did that happen to you? Really? Yeah, someone called. Um, I guess there's technology that can like simulate another person's voice. Oh, yeah. So AI. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's called AI. Um, and so someone was simulating like my... Uh, I don't know, my grandmother's grandchild's voice, not not me, but like another one, another grandchild and saying like, hey, I'm in jail, you know, I need some money like to bail me out, like, please do this or something. And my grandmother was about to like pay. And then luckily her daughter was there to stop her and say like, that can't even be possibly true. Like hang up the phone. Wow. Um, like hang up and call your actual granddaughter. Yeah, that's the yeah. best place to actually call the person afterwards. Well, it's like why? Like this person's 16 years old. Like and they're, yeah, but, they're in but school old right folks now. Take them to that. jail. They're not, yeah. Yeah. they're not smart enough to realize they're being scammed. Nah, I, I guess smart enough isn't the right word. But like they're, they're from a different time, like man. That. that shit didn't exist yeah. back then. Yeah. I know. I know. You don't expect people to try to deceive you. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't expect anybody to try to deceive me, but. It would be possible, it I guess. Happens it happens so be possible. much. I feel like, yeah, I don't want to say I couldn't be scammed, but it would take it would take a really good damn scam at this point. Like yeah. I'm like seasoned enough on the internet to like hmm. sniff it out. I'm right. seasoned enough to not trust anybody or answer my phone. <laughs> I'm yeah. jaded enough to think everyone is an awful person, a liar, and trying to get me. Oh my so. gosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you haven't got there yet, huh? <laughs> yeah. Tell me what. Tell me what liking people is like. Hmm? Oh no. No, no. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not that jaded. I'm not. I'm not really not that jaded. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah. but yeah i don't know i don't know if i like i don't know it would take a lot to scam me nowadays i think you never been scammed eric not that i can think of but no. I, your this conversation is making me think of uh, my tiktok account uh recently i followed a bunch of like tarot accounts okay, okay. and okay. so there's one particular tarot account i follow her and then she follows me back with like six or seven different accounts and I'm like, well, I don't care. A part of me is like, oh, well, I don't care because that's like six or seven extra followers. But also, yeah. at the same time, I know those other accounts are not her. No. Uh, but the first time that Lots. happened, like, you know, I had no idea. So I, like, went and messaged the person. I was like, did you just private message me from a different account that's just like this account? Mm -hmm. And they were like, no. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. good. Good to know. Yeah. I mean, that's just phishing, though. People yeah. are trying to get your information. Um. That's really weird. I've had yeah. like credit card information stolen. I remember one time around Christmas. I probably told the story before, but I remember mm -hmm. one time around Christmas time when I was years and years ago, I walk into the bank and I uh, have no money. And yeah. it turns out that somebody bought a bunch of iTunes gift cards oh my using God. my account information. That's scary. It is. Luckily, your money is FDIC insured, right? Exactly. Otherwise. I ended up getting it all back, but it was still like around a time of year where I was going to go buy presents, and it was like I yeah. had to wait an extra you week. You were going to go need buy that presents. Money. Yeah. Luckily, it was only a week. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Credit card scamming is like I'm a, trying to such think a big if I've thing. Ever been scammed. I don't know, man. Um, I mean, if you look at half of the girls you've dated, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, you, you there you go. <laughs> you definitely yeah, got tell scammed. us about that, Brett. <laughs> yeah. You definitely got scammed. Which was the scammiest? Yeah. Uh, Which was the scammiest all, girl you dated? <laughs> Who was the scammiest girl you dated? Is it the girl that bit your nipple? What? Oh, God. oh Lord. Oh, oh my I'm God. Sorry. I'm not supposed to bring that <laughs> I mean, up. You can, I mean, I'm sorry. That, that's a real story that happened. We've told the story. Wait, uh, was this that, one? That was the consent breaker. That wasn't the. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, she definitely was a consent breaker was no she... that was the girl who drank the two two drinks made for the whole table and then was like oh i got that for myself yeah like the fishbowl wow. margaritas yeah she wore the fishbowl when yeah. we went out on the date well the, like i tried to give her a second chance after she broke all the consent i don't know <laughs> yeah. why um loneliness and sadness probably oh. um and uh and she was like i started like I was, she's like sure the big drink and i was like oh cool can i have some of that she's like yeah that's for me though and i was like oh wow sorry. and then she ordered a second one yeah, yeah oh my goodness good. she had a problem no red yeah flag. then she had the nerve to look at me and go you asked me if i like to party and i was like Ugh. oh yeah she's like never yeah. gonna ask anybody that question again because i guess any answer could be that you could yeah. be a crackhead like i like the party yeah yeah so that was a uh, yeah that was good oh but she didn't rip me off she paid for her own drink the thing about it is like okay. if, a, if a person is willing to show you that side of themselves on a first the and or second time and or second out. date yeah. Yep. yeah iceberg effect brother oh 10 times worse if you actually were like i'm cool with it yeah no. you just say thank oh thank you <laughs> right the, the funniest Thanks. part Bye. about that was right. when she she tried to have a conversation with me about how she wasn't looking for anything serious and i was like oh yeah me neither of course because i didn't want to see her anymore but then like she didn't even remember having that conversation and then tried to like have the conversation again with me when she was sober and i was like we already oh, talked about my this God. and she was like oh did we what did i tell you and i was like oh wow i was like i'm busy for the rest of my life <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Brad, that's harsh. Have you ever run into a, a, a gentleman who was... Uh... A, a nipple biter? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a question for a whole nother podcast. Not this one, all right? Okay. No, another guy who was okay. like... Equally had as many red flags or um, showcased yeah, some yeah, bad behavior. So many. So many. <laughs> just give me many. a juicy one. I don't want you to go in too deep into I'm not, uh, just, not your psychiatrist. Okay. So there was there was a gentleman who wasn't quite a gentleman. Okay. Uh, an older a guy older than me, maybe like by 10 years. And um, we met. He was attractive, very wealthy, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Um, invites me to his place like in a fancy fancy area of the united states i go right. and you know spend a couple of days there the whole time he's talking to me talking to me about his ex 
So red flag the whole wait, time. Wait, he's, like you come across the country to hang out and he talks about his ex. His ex the entire okay. freaking I thought time. That was, I thought that was their go-to. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> how you know? go to? The entire three three red flags. Okay. X, 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 X the entire time. Yikes. The the other red flag is that he started telling me about all of his deep, deep, deep traumas. And oh, like, like way deep. Just like, unloaded. He's like, Good morning, I tell you about when I was young. My I'm just, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm just sitting there like, uh, like, and you know, I think there's a time and a place for it. But like, if you're like, it's your first meeting with someone and they're like un unloading all of that, that's another red flag, <laughs> you know? And you know, there's, always, there, you know, sometimes you're, you know, you, that can happen and it's okay, but this yeah, was yeah, like yeah. a little weird. And then the third thing was that he was like, yeah, and I'm also, I'm also like, just so you know, I'm dating this other person. Okay. I'm like, she wants all to right. have, she wants to have a threesome. Here's her picture. Do you want to have a threesome? And I was oh, like, he just straight up, he just straight up laid it out. Like, look, I'm looking for somebody else to join me in my, oh, yeah, no. I think I was on an audition or something. You were dating. <laughs> He was like, come on down. Man. Yeah. I was like, send me home. Oh, no. Yeah, so you were dating like, Dwight Howard. Yeah, That's it was really crazy. Bad. It was really wow. bad. That's insane, man. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I, I will have to say is that I've never been flown out by a woman and had her try to have a threesome with me. <laughs> I can definitely that say go, that. How do you think that would go near if that happened to you? I <laughs> am envious, honestly. <laughs> Fair. Well, tell you us the You listen to all the chatting about the trauma You're and like, like oh, all the, the ex. So like, all right, let's yeah, get that to that seems, third part. Yeah, that seems about every date <laughs> I've like, been on. Bart over here. Yeah. I want you and Bart to, you know. Yeah, usually women tell me about their exes, their trauma, and then they yeah. bring out to, another man to <laughs> sleep with you. <laughs> and then they leave with somebody else. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, I don't know. On that note, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas, TNT, and Erica. We are up.